There are several um, old buildings that I think were once part of the airport that are just kind of abandoned. These would have probably been like office rooms. It's some sort of fitness routine. There's a truck that just pulled in. All right, so story time. This was an episode that I tried to film about a month ago, but I was doing my intro in some parking lot somewhere when some guy just walked up to me and said, hey, you can't film here. And I'm like, why not? And he said, it's on some sort of military army base. So that's why I'm kind of doing my intro here in a discreet little parking lot. I just drove away after that. I'm like, no, nah, screw it. I'd already filmed an episode that day. I'm going to have to conceal this camera until I get to the buildings I plan on going to, but it's an interesting one. It's where we are is like the remnants of a big airport. And I guess now it's kind of an army base or a truck port. I'm not sure. But there are several um, old buildings that I think were once part of the airport that are just kind of down off to the side that are abandoned. There's a few uh, little small ones and then there's a slightly bigger one. It's like three floors, kind of looks like an office building. So I'm going to see how this goes. Hopefully I can pull it off. Here's the first building. There's a car that just pulled up into the back, so that's pretty sketch. Guys, look, I know this is the wrong channel, but I found a snake. I was so curious, I had to flip that board and uh, this little guy was under it. So, uh, catching snakes at Bando's. You gotta love it. See you later, buddy. Alright, so while I was holding that snake, those people left. They were just a couple normal people, so let's go. Let's see what this little warehouse is all about. It's about as empty as I thought it would be. Maybe it's not as empty as I thought. There's like some actual rooms. All these rooms are empty. Uh-oh. Big old safe door. What is that? Uh, just some sort of little sand thing. Let's see what's down the other corridor and then I'll head up. It's pretty gutted. It almost looks unfinished. That definitely looks like someone's bed. Ah yes, the main power room. I must admit, I definitely underestimated this building. I wouldn't have thought it'd be such a labyrinth of little rooms. That's got to be one of the most cliche graffiti door things, don't open dead inside. I'm pretty sure just about every abandoned building has a door that has that on it. I'll take the bait. And I can confirm that there is in fact no dead inside. Liars. Wow. Look at the ceiling paint. That isn't your average everyday paint peel. That is advanced paint peel. This is nothing. Just giant hole. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of mail slot. Oh, I smell a little bit of funk in here. Should probably wear the bandana, but I didn't figure this one would take me very long at all. Can't spend too much time in this little one. We got a bigger, hopefully more interesting one to get to. I gotta give this one some credit. There was more to it than I thought. But it's time to head to the next building. There's at least three or four. I'm gonna try to save the big one for last. All right, now's our chance. Ow. 
Oh, these thorny defenses are impeccable. This building is the smallest one, but it's the most important. Because behind these trees is the fairly well-hidden field that I'm going to use to get to the biggest building. Ooh, scary basement. Now that's actually pretty cool. Look at these old lockers. At least I'm pretty sure it's what these were. Okay, that is way flooded. There's at least three more steps that just go down into water. I'm pretty sure that we're right near a couple big silos too. If I can figure out where they are in this brush. Uh, it just looks like the ruins of another building. Found a way across the creek. Oh, that was too good to be true. We were gonna have issues if this wasn't here. This field is the final obstacle. You know, the stupid thing is, I walked right past the building. It was only 100 feet from me on the road. All I had to do was wait for a break in traffic, and I could have made it with ease. But instead, I chose to save it for last. I do it for you. Appreciate me, please. Oh, I found the silos. This reminds me of the albino farm. Oh, that sucks. It's so muddy in there. I'm not even gonna get in. But, look at that. And same here. Those things are pretty cool from way out here. Oh yeah, it's still here. It ain't much. But it's the second to last. Oh, I smell the asbestos coming out of there. I think it's finally bandana time. All right, welcome to building three out of four. Oh, just some sort of electric power device. More of these devices. There's actually some things left in this one. Let's just use the hole in the wall as a door. They had numbered rooms. I wonder if uh, this one and like the first one were just little miniature offices. Although look at this. These almost look like little prison bars, but I'm sure it's just a little mail slot type thing. And that's it. Just a little one. But now it's time for the main attraction. Ugh. It's crazy hard to get in here. I didn't know. I don't even know. I won't even explain. But look at this. We have an open welcome mat right here. We finally made it, guys. But it still looks kind of gutted too. Let's go this way first. Look at this. I found a whiteboard. So I'm guessing these would have probably been like office rooms. Jeez. That's real torn apart. I realize I never really gave you guys a very good look at it from the outside, but trust me when I say it looked a lot better in shape from outside. Inside makes it look like it's been abandoned for decades. This one was like a double room. It's the main area, the power room. Dripping water is always a scary sound. Seems about every building I go has one of these in it.
intermatic. See the old landline phone? That is one destroyed table. There's another set of stairs on up. How many floors have we got here? I think I said three before. I guess it's only two. Get a look at what the original wall was. It's almost like a thin carpet. This is a common entry point, I suppose. Look at all the footprints that are around here. Oh, look at that. Never mind. I'm an idiot. From my angle, that kind of looked like a keyboard. There's some legitimate writing. It's some sort of fitness routine. Pull-ups, bench press, dumbbell overhead. <coughs> oh yeah, that's going in the video. That's the end of the long bottom floor corridor. We're going up. save this for last but I will definitely do this roof all right now I already saw a whiteboard talking about like workout routines and then this looks like some sort of gym equipment I, I can't quite put my finger on it what but these pegs here would like support the bar if you know what I'm talking about or maybe I'm completely wrong and that's it nothing but back down so oh, I can't even see I guess that's basically it for this building I gotta sneak on out of here I'm going back across this field, then just kind of walking the tree line. I hate myself so much. I literally just made it. I'm about to walk on out. And I forgot to go up on the roof, like I said I would. What do you think? Should I trek back across this field, risk looking all sketchy and whatnot just to go back up on that roof? Sounds like a great idea to me. When you say you're gonna do something, I guess you may as well do it. You ready for this? Cause here we go. We've made it. Here you can kind of tell the shape of it with a wing going that way. And then I'm just here on the main corridor. It's like a, it's like a T. It's like a T or a plus that's missing one of its arms. Uh, success. Now escape 2.0. Guys, things have just gone wrong. There's a truck that just pulled in. Can I get him on the video? There, there he is. He's going to get one of these trailers. Now if I'd have remembered to do the roof correctly the first time, I wouldn't have to wait on it. Oh, I find ways to screw myself over, don't I? I think I got him on the video. You would have had to see it was a big red semi. He wasn't carrying any cargo already, so he's probably going to pull one of these out of here. The only issue is I don't know when. Where'd you go? If I can't see him, maybe I could 
make my escape. All right, let's just walk on out. What looks more sketchy? Someone walking right out from the general vicinity of the building or someone just walking along this tree line? I just heard the truck. I think he's literally about to drive right on out of there. Oh, that's him. That's him right there. He really did just pick up one of those containers. Back in the car. I am exhausted. Honestly, those buildings were kind of boring. I feel like you probably will feel the same way, but don't worry. I have plenty more up my sleeve. There's still some good spots left on my uh, Kansas City tour, so stay tuned. We're still going to keep them coming every week for as long as I can. I'll see you next time.